we are gonna do a little bit of a ride here we got michael here behind me james and his son has joined us on his ninja 250 or 300 i'm not sure which one it was I'm not sure when they switched to 300 but anyway we're gonna go right out to the river area where there's a lot of like off-road sandy areas that you can ride in so it'll be fun and a friend of mine is meeting us he has a drone and he's offered to take some pretty cool shots of us so we're, we'll just kind of play around with that riding around and him shooting the drone footage um so that's kind of the point of today really no uh, nothing special other than that so we'll uh, catch you guys on the ride Okay, so we had a ton of fun and I'm pretty sure I ran like 50 laps on that makeshift track. But Michael and James had found a really sweet forest trail. Unfortunately, they didn't film any of it. So of course, we had no choice but to go back in there and do the trail again with me and with our GoPros rolling. This was a really technical trail and I'm pretty sure it was not designed for Vstrom. So I immediately decided it was necessary to go in there. Knock my Lexan off my helmet.
tree with my helmet. Oh no. This thing. Oh, it just, it just came off its clip. Just put yeah, it. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll put it away. Did you guys make it up that hill last time? Yeah. You did? How was it? I I did it in two. He did it in one. So that big one with the ledge on it. Yeah, that one looked tricky. You guys, I mean, we can try it. Okay. Just go back. All right. This is a workout. I'll tell you what. In case you're wondering what the struggle here is, it's the numerous tree branches that are laying on the trail. If you don't have the right momentum, they can roll under your tires and cause you to sort of stall in one place. Oh, so his brakes are squeaky, not mine. It doesn't look too bad, actually. It's just, uh, it's this part right here. I think this is the tree that I hit. Little Tarzan thing. this was interesting um, to me it's interesting because I'm doing this on a V-Strom and I know that two years ago I wouldn't have dreamt of doing this on a V-Strom so I'm really glad that I feel like I've gotten better at riding better at these tight technical turns um, am I still able to learn a lot more oh yeah and and I sure will uh, look forward to doing so anyway in the meantime ride safe and we'll see you guys on the next one